Hi, my name is Anita Wallace and I'm Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network and I'm delighted to introduce you to someone that I've worked with for scarily nearly 20 years, uh, Professor Peter Mortimer. He's the LSN's Chief Medical Advisor and leading lymphedema specialist both here in the UK and overseas. So will having a hip replacement make my leg lymphedema worse? I think the basic answer to that should be no. And I saw a patient uh, only last week who asked me this very question. Uh, and that patient had had cervical cancer treatment and had bilateral lower limb lymphedema and now had bad hips and needed a hip replacement and the reason I said to her now I think you're safe to proceed is that while there is some lymph drainage that occurs out over the hip area most of it will go up on the inside of the thigh and therefore cutting and disturbing the tissues around the hip replacement uh, will not necessarily interfere or make any lymph drainage worse providing infection uh, doesn't occur. And then of course, better movement when the hip replacement has been done will help the lymphedema. So I think uh, a hip replacement is likely to make your lymphedema better, not worse is my answer. Mm -hmm. So if you're undergoing that type of surgery, would you recommend um, the person to take antibiotics during the course of that um, that surgery? I think uh, I probably would, certainly if they'd had cellulitis in the past. Mm. I think the orthopaedic surgeon would be keen as well. And the reason for that is whether you have lymphedema or not, to get any infection into a joint replacement is a disaster for the joint replacement. Mm. So I think every effort would be made to try and avoid infection. And if that meant giving antibiotics, then so be it. It better be safe than sorry, perhaps. Yes. Thank, thank you.